In pest management, once we have identified an insect, it is essential to determine the threat amount. Determining the threat amount is like deciding whether the cost to manage an insect is worth the investment or not. This is important because depending on the situation, some insects present minimal risks and others can cause severe problems. To determine the threat amount, you will need to do some research about the specific insect you are dealing with. To help you with this research, you can use the tools presented in the previous video in this series. The questions you will ask are, what risks are associated with this insect? Is this insect beneficial in any way? How many of these insects are present in the area you are trying to control? Answers to these questions will help you determine if controlling the insect is worth it. Be sure to consider risks to your health and belongings like your crops or home. We also should try to determine if the insects are beneficial to us in any way. Some insects are highly beneficial like bees which help pollinate flowers for us. Some insects nevertheless can have both benefits and risks associated with them. Take wasps for example. In many situations they are annoying because they can sting humans and cause us harm, but they also commonly kill caterpillars which could feed on vegetables in your garden. Another example that has both risks and benefits are many spiders. You also must determine approximately how many insects you are dealing with, because this can make a difference. In order to determine this, you will usually do an estimate, because counting all insects in most situations is difficult. A helpful tool called a threshold may exist for the type of insect you are dealing with. A threshold is a point at which researchers suggest controlling for the pest because of the damage it could cause. The threshold will be highly specific to the insect you are dealing with. For example, with the sugarcane aphid, a pest of sorghum, if in random parts of your field you are finding an average of 50 or more aphids per leaf on the top and bottom leaves, then you have reached the threshold. With some household pests like bed bugs, finding just one individual in your house is the threshold. Sometimes the insects you are trying to track live in secluded places and you cannot count them all. In order to help you make estimates you can use some of the collecting tools shown in the previous video like traps to get a better estimate. In each situation you have to decide for yourself whether the risks outweigh the benefits. To one person control may be necessary but to another they can live with the risks. We have to remember that it is not a black or white argument. If you want to learn how to control insects, click on the video that just popped up on the screen. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoy learning about insects as much as I do, make sure and subscribe to The Insect Hunter for all things insects.